Hi everybody and welcome back to Adrian Has Bees. Today is the 15th of May. So it's been 15 days since I released these queens. So with the life cycle of the eggs and the larva and the pupa, I believe we should find some capped brood assuming that everything is going well inside both of these hives. I don't think we'll have any baby bees coming out yet because 21 days after the egg is laid, from what I understand, that's when the baby bees start coming out. So we've still got about six more days before baby bees start emerging and the, these populations should start growing well. But today we're going to go in, we're going to do a hive inspection. We're going to look for the queen, make sure she's healthy. We're going to look for capped brood and hopefully some larva and some eggs maybe. We're going to check the food because I put in pollen patties last time. I want to see if they're actually eating those or if that was maybe a waste of effort. Um, I'd rather have them there and have them not eat them. Um, but I believe there's quite a few dandelions blossoming out. There's a lot of uh, apple trees in our area with flowers on them. So I think there's a lot of, uh, a lot of resources that these bees will be bringing in. And as I just sit here and look, um, I'm looking for any pollen coming in on their legs. I'm not seeing any, but I'm going to finish getting suited up here and we will start digging into these hives. Thanks for coming along. Okay, let's hope that keeps bees from getting inside with me. So, let's have a look at Berlin first. I think we could use some more sugar water, but we're going to kind of wait and see. Just uh, I may make an opportunity to put the second. Well, I certainly won't yet. We'll we'll add some more sugar water to this hive once we've done the inspection. So that actually looks good, I think. I'm seeing that it appears that they're eating the pollen patty that I've placed in there. And they're also cleaning it up well. I will move the camera a little closer so that you can see that. So here is Berlin. Wow, and you can see all this excess comb that they've been building because I gave them a little more room on that lid. But they're definitely eating into this pollen patty really well. I'm quite pleased with that. So what I really want to do, I'm going to tear that off because I don't want them to continue to build right there. So I'm going to tear that off. You can see how they're starting to get rid of the paper, the excess garbage, and they'll, they'll take, tear that off and take that on out of the hive. I'll give them a little hand here. I will 
clean that up out of the yard here in a moment. But we're going to get this wax out of here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is get my frame hanger so that I don't lose track of which frames. And I work from the sides or the back on this hive because of the front entrance is where the bees generally tend to get themselves in and out. And that's where it becomes very busy. certainly moving some honey around in here. I have a lot of bee population. So that's good. Oh, that's solid honey, sugar water honey. Just dropped my wallet, so if I'm watching this later on and I'm wondering where my wallet is, it's right behind this beehive. So I'm seeing bee bread, honey, and nectar. It's actually a capped over cell that looks like a drone cell. Interesting. I see honey dripping. I think uh, I broke open a honey cell with that last frame that came out. I can see honey dripping down into the hive. This is disruptive to the bees, without a doubt. It definitely can set them back. So, oh my goodness, yes, we are seeing brood. So we're seeing a nice brood pattern here. It's not, not exceptional, but it's acceptable, I think, for at least for now, since I don't have another queen. I can see a bee doing the waggle dance, and she's got pollen on her legs. So that's actually really cool to see. Do not see my queen on this frame. I'm just going to look down in there. And I see lots more brood. So actually, I think, I think I'm going to be okay. I think I'm going to plan on adding a box to this hive. I'm assuming the other one is doing just as well. I may do the same thing over there too to help encourage more bee growth. I didn't actually see the queen, but I don't want to disrupt that patty, that pollen patty, because they seem to be eating well on that. I am just going to check the underside of here. Yeah. 
Put that back for now. Then I'm going to come back and put some more frames in here and remove that lid. still have sugar water in here might give them a little extra as well anyway we'll mix up one one other batch ah yes and these girls have certainly been eating through this pollen patty as well. So that's actually fantastic. I'm very happy with these girls eating through that pollen patty. I'll keep feeding them as long as they keep eating it. Help them out and get some of this garbage. You can see they've kind of, they kind of eat around that paper and take it out in pieces. We can also clean up some of this excess wax. Try not to hurt any of the little girls as I pull that off. I know, I know. It took a lot of work to get that wax built up, didn't it? Okay. Solid frame of honey there. Of course, I did give these girls a head start on their with their resources, because everything came from an old hive. Looks like they're enjoying it. So hopefully, start seeing some brood now here nope not yet bee bread honey find either the queen or some brood and there's brood there's more brood and there's eggs and larva or there's larva I'm not sure I see eggs yet Well, I sure got one of them excited buzzing around me, though. Oh, is that my queen? Nope. That's just a bee with a honey drop on its back. go one more 
frame deep because I'm not overly thrilled with that brood pattern. Let's have a look at one more frame. Oh, that's a little better. It's not horrible. It doesn't seem awesome either. The bottom, we've got some excess wax being built out. I don't think that's going to be an issue. It's not going to bother me, at least. All right. So we've got brood in both. So I am pretty happy with that. So we'll put this back together. I think I might not do it today, but here soon I think I'm going to put the extra box on top with some frames that need to be built out. I've ordered some green drone chrome, drone comb, which uh, is supposed to help with the Varroa mites um, controlling them. Because Varroa tend to prefer drone pupae to lay their eggs in, if you have comb that's set up specifically with sized cells that are larger than the worker cells, the queen will lay drone comb there. And that allows all the mites to have a field day going into those areas. Okay, move out of the way, little girl. There you go. I know you're on the outside now, but I think you can find your way back in. And of course, what you do, the intent is once the drones have been, uh, once the drone comb has been filled up and capped over, you know you have a lot of mites in there. And then you can take it out of the hive, throw it in the freezer, and that will kill the drones and the mites. But it, it doesn't affect workers by doing that. And that's a more natural way to actually take care of mite control. At some point, I will do a mite count, um, which is kind of heartbreaking because you do have to kill about 300 bees, I believe, based on what I've been reading um, and gaining from YouTube. So I'm not looking forward to that, but it, it is necessary to get a better understanding of what your mite load looks like. So, and it can help save tens of thousands of bees in the fall if you understand your mite load. Well, these hives have settled down nicely since I was in there doing a hive inspection. Really happy with the hive inspection. Um, they're progressing well. I think it's about time that I'm gonna add some extra frames in the top boxes. And I'll move the feeders up so that uh, we can keep feeding them until I am starting to put honey, uh, honey supers on. I'll keep feeding them because what I don't want to do is be feeding them when they're filling up the honey supers for me to harvest because that's not going to be good honey for based on what I understand. So we want them to bring in the natural nectar and turn that into honey.